Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. What do we have here? We have the Russians who tell the IAEA, um, International Atomic Energy blah 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 Association or something, uh, to uh, fuck off, basically. Uh, not basically, that's exactly the message. Not in this kind of ugly terms. But, you know, uh, no, you can't come and visit. Back off. And everybody's like, oi vey, what are we gonna do now? So, let me show you. We got this article from the New Voice of Ukraine. And it is um, saying that Russia denies IAEA access to reactors of the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant. So, he's, uh, he specified that I, who's he? He specified that IAEA experts were barred from the reactor halls of units 1, 2 and 6 for the last two weeks. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go straight to the new voice of Ukraine because these weasels, sometimes when you don't have it from them, then they cut it off. So this is not, this is from MSN, Baba B, Boo Boo, Microsoft. Let's go to new voice of Ukraine, shall we? Because I think it's missing the, the beginning. Yes, and here it is. Russia denies IEA access to reactors of the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant. Here it is. The Russian occupiers forbade See, see, I knew the first paragraph was missing from this, not that, from this garbage. See, bam, bam. Where is it? I can't find it. So again, the Russian occupiers forbade experts of the International Atomic Energy Agency, not Association Agency, to inspect the halls of the three power units of the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant, according to the agency general director, Rafael Grossi. Uh, well, where, where is that uh, power plant? Let's see. Um, a power plant, the nuclear power plant, right? Let's see where it's at. If I remember, it's in Enerhodar. Enerhodar, it's right. Where are you? This is the power plant, right here it is. If I remember correctly, all oh, right here. This is Enerhodar, been a long time. This uh, accumulation lake, or how do you call it, the reservoir is now more longer here. So here's the power plant, here's the Enerhodar is now no longer here because if you remember we don't know who they claim the russians blew up this uh, uh bridge right here the, the dam um novo Kavo, Kav, kakovka dam right here they say who said whatever the fact is is gone so let's go back to the article he specified grossi that iaa experts were barred from the reactor halls of units one, two, and six for the last two weeks. Grossi added, and I'm quoting, this is the first time that IAEA experts have not been granted access to a reactor hall of a unit that was in cold shutdown. This is where the reactor core and spent fuel are located. Motherfucker, first. Rossi, you're not God. Beat it, like that, go. It's the first time, yeah, get used to it. Get the fuck used to it, man, these guys. He emphasized that his team will continue to request access to these reactors. Nice attitude. Good. Continue. Uh, and when the Russians decide, they will allow you or not. The statement also noted numerous dangers of the nuclear power plant, including the precarity of the high energy power line and boric acid, blah, blah, blah. On December 5, the IAEA monitoring mission held a staff rotation at the temporary occupied Zaporozhia nuclear power plant. Yeah. And who were the guys that were rotating, the staff rotation? Do you remember? I'm pretty sure the Russians remember. But do you remember when Saddam Hussein, no, Saddam, it was Saddam Hussein and the Iranians, it was on both, but Saddam Hussein, when they allowed IEA to come and monitor and check his ass for uh, nuclear uh, whatever in uh, and labs, remember? For... Um, at atomic uh, measures and uh, what... Remember, it was not only Iran, they checked this guy's, uh, uh, his palaces for the weapons of mass destruction. And what did Saddam say? And the Iranians kicked them out. He said, no, these guys are agents. Some of them are agents, and I guarantee you they were agents. Why? Uh, normal procedure? It's not some, oh, Emil, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. You bring over there agents, people that are not over there to check the levels of, uh, I don't know, plutonium uh, and other garbage. But don't believe me? Wait. 
So the Russians probably know something. And now, because they said had a staff rotation, ah, they need to be vetted. The largest nuclear power plant in Europe, the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, was captured by the Russian occupiers Energodar on March 4, 2022. The buildings of the uh, Zaporozhye nuclear power plant were damaged by Russian shelling in several places. I, I mean, the Russians took over and then they shelled them, right? No, it was the other way around. The Russians took over and the Ukrainians shelled them. Remember when we had about five months of this kind of garbage? that uh, the Russians are shelling their own power plants now or the other ones who wanted to take over the power plant were trying to... <clears throat> it was unbelievable and people were... these guys were making the same articles and articles. So I took over an objective and then I tried to destroy the objective after I take over so I can not use it in the future but you want it back and you constantly attack me and I shell my thing. Could be, could be, but could be like, hey, if you come closer, we're going to destroy it. Oh yeah, then we're going to back off then. What am I supposed to do? No. The occupiers pla placed military equipment, ammunition and troops at the station, effectively turning it into a logistical and military base. Okay, stay the fuck out of it until you win and then you're going to take over. All right, my friends, um, the IAEA tried. These guys are not idiots, the Russians, and say, you know what? Wait, wait, let, let, let it settle down for a little while, and then we're going to see how much uh, freedom we give you. We give you. We are in charge of that, not you. Remember the IAEA inspecting the American uh, nuclear power plants and uh, demanding this and wanting that and doing that? And Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.